is to calibrate your thermometer so that it can work properly. Calibrate a thermometer? What is that about? Well, it is like setting the thermometer before it can measure temperature effectively afterwards. So how do we do that? Well, let us take an unmarked mercury thermometer as an example. Prepare two beakers, one of pure melting ice and one of constantly boiling water. You know the temperatures for these two scenarios, right? Yep. Ice melts at 0 degrees Celsius and water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Right. So you put the thermometer into the melting ice and once the level of mercury is stable, you mark the height of the mercury in the stamp of the thermometer. Now, repeat the step for the boiling water and mark the height of the mercury in the stamp. Now, you have marked the 0 degree and 100 degree points on the thermometer. I remember, you said in the previous lesson that mercury expands linearly with temperature. Since we have the markings for 0 degrees and 100 degrees, then the other temperatures in between would be easy to calculate since the liquid expands linearly. Correct. Let's say the 0 degree mark is 4 centimeters above the bulb, while the 100 degree mark is 24 centimeters above the bulb. As a result, the length between these two points is 20 centimeters, and dividing this length by 100 degrees. Each degree is represented by 0.2 centimeters on the thermometer. Thus, if you do the markings of the degrees yourself, a thermometer is created.